Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have added some exciting new features and improvements that will take the system to the next level. Let me quickly show you what's new. Stick around. So firstly, I'll log in as an employee. So I'll enter the employee ID and the password. So the change that you can see here is in this products list is that we have the discount column now. Okay. And we also have the discounted price. So if some products have discount, then we'll see the discounted price. If it doesn't have any discount, then we'll see the original price. Okay. After that, let's just uh, add some products to the cart. Now, after that, I'll just enter the customer name and the contact number of his. Now, if I generate the bill, bill is saved. Here you see the difference. So we are getting the name of the products here. Then the quantity is mentioned. Then the price is mentioned. Then the discount is mentioned. And how much is the discount that is also mentioned. And then the final price of those items is mentioned, right? Then what else? Then we have the bill amount. Okay, after that we have the total discount, then we have the tax and then we have the net pay and below that we have the QR code uh, on scanning it, you will see the details. Okay, so the modification in this billing area is that I have added the discount and the final price and apart from that total discount that we are getting on the products. Okay, so I have made these changes. Now let's go to the admin dashboard so now I'll log in as an admin now here what is the change firstly if you see I have added the tax button here so once I click on it I'll see this window here I will add a tax percentage okay that you will see on the billing page so if I'll mention 5 here then this 5 percent you will see on the billing page so on all the products you will see 5 percent tax and then if you'll go to this products here i have added one label discount and here i have added this spin box okay with the help of which you can set the discount for any of the products and here uh, you will be getting discount and the discounted price. So this discounted price will be calculated and will be displayed here. And then if you go to this sales. So here firstly we were only able to see the text files in this bill area. Right. But now we can also see the total sale amount till now means whatever selling has happened till now. So that we will see here the total sale amount till now. Okay. And here we will see all the items products that are sold and their quantities are mentioned like how many quantities are sold till now and their total amounts are mentioned. Okay. Then we can select date to view sales. So if you want to see the sales of some particular date, we can do that from here. Suppose if I want to check on 7 September. So I'll get this result. Okay. And here you can see total sales amount on 10 November. Oh, sorry. 10 September is this. Okay. And then we can also perform the sorting. So if I just select some other data. Uh, seventh one like this. Okay. Now if I sort it based on the amount ascending okay so we'll see amount ascending result here okay we can also sort it uh, on the quantity descending so you can see the quantity is descending here i hope this is clear and then we can also export it so by clicking this this uh, sorted data can be exported to some file like data and you can store it at desktop so this data has been saved in a 
excel file you can see this data okay so here you will see the sorted data in this excel file apart from this you can also show report so here you will see all the products and how many quantities are sold for those products so basically you will see the graphical representation of the data okay the products and the quantity sold and then with the help of reset you will be able to reset everything and here you will see total sale amount till date so i hope you like this updated version and found the new features helpful if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to drop them in the comments don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on future updates see you in the next video